Hello everyone, my name is Master Sermon and welcome back for more Let's Play The Legend of Zelda Twilight Princess HD. Last time, we got here to the first dungeon of the game. This is the Forest Temple. Yep, Forest Temple. In this part, well, it's a Zelda game and we got dungeons, so let's go ahead and explore the first dungeon here. And yeah, if this was the original releases of this game, I would have had a message there telling me I just got a blue rupee there because this game is really, really bizarre sometimes. Anyways, if we head up here, we can shoot those uh, spiders down from the vine there. I don't know if there's actually much point to this, but I imagine there's probably a treasure or something up here. in here? Money, I'm guessing? Ten rupees. Not too shabby, I won't say. I'll kind of get into this in a little bit, maybe like in another video or two, but yeah, this game likes to shower you a lot with money here, so... Like, that's something to kind of keep in mind whenever you're playing through this game. Anyways, here's a monkey. Let's save monkey. And he just ignores all the spiders there. <laughs> hey, that's the monkey that stole your lantern. Doesn't it look like she's beckoning you? Aren't you the popular one? <laughs> hmm, maybe so, Midna. Anyways, pretty easy just to target onto those spiders and... Yeah. And it looks like the monkey wants us to follow it, so we'll be doing that. Just trying to look if there's anything else around here. I was practicing this dungeon, like, not too, too long ago, like maybe two or three months ago. Not that, that long ago, anyway. There is a little secret that, well, first, now nah, you know what, I'll go after this first here. There's a little secret area here. Here that uh, how do I do the There we go. Yeah, if you bop these guys here, they'll release a bomb here. And there's a wall you can blow up here. I think this is just for money anyway, but I wanna get this now because Yeah, there's in a few seconds, we'll kind of trigger a point where... Not to say we won't be able to get that yet, but we would have to wait for quite a bit in the dungeon in order to actually get that again, so... Yeah, I'll point out what I mean here in a second. Anyways, we have a bigger sculpture here. These guys can be kind of on the annoying side. I actually took that one out pretty easily, all things considered. If we take out our lantern here... That will raise a staircase, meaning we won't be able to get to that one rupee chest. We will be able to get that here, even by the end of the dungeon we would be able to get that, but yeah, it's not gonna be, like, something we'd be immediately able to get anyway, to say the least. And right there we can get our dungeon map. Pretty nice. This is uh, Twilight Princess, like... It has some of the better dungeons in the series, I'll definitely say that. A lot of them are really nice and big. This game, I think, definitely took a lot of the criticisms of both Majora's Mask and Wind Waker. Much as I do love those games, like, those ones definitely have some of the smaller dungeon amounts in the game. <clears throat> Which I can kind of see how that's a little bit of a disappointment after Ocarina of Time had a lot of really cool ones. This game definitely borrows from that page, and honestly, I kind of miss that, but... This guy's just throwing out a dark Hirai coast here. Nice ass, man. <laughs> oh, 
Oh, what's going on? Has there been a monkey fight? Oh, no. Now we can't go any further. Well, we might as well go back. I don't know what's going on, but it seems like she wants to take you somewhere, so maybe you should just follow her. <sighs> you know what? Let's uh, do that, then. Anyways, for sometimes the monkeys will kind of follow us, and they'll ask us to kind of go in some of these pathways here. We can just... <clears throat> jump, grab on, and jump off, pretty much. There is a big chest you can see kind of dangling up there as well, but I don't think we can get that with our current equipment. I think we do need the item in order to get that. And here's something. Yeah, if we just kind of bop the bomb guy there. Yes, this is a uh, introduction to this character here. I was never bothered by this character too much as a kid, but I can definitely see why for a lot of people, well... Oh, out at last! Gracious, once I got in there, I couldn't squeeze back out. Remember to help, thanks. I've been looking for something in here. See, gracious. You must need something here too. Shall we work together for a while, fellow adventure? I can warp you out of here if you want to leave. You'll be able to come back here the same room time you want. I can be quite helpful, see? Don't think of me as a burden. Now let's get started. You met Uku. You can call her in a dungeon. She will allow you to return when you want. I... I never noticed this when I was a kid, but... I mean, a lot of people don't really like Uku's design very much because... There's no way around this one once you see it. Uh, she's covered with bird boobs. Um, Uku's actually a pretty helpful item, though, because I probably won't get a chance to show this off right now, but maybe in some other dungeons. Basically, if you... Uku's a special item that, if you were to use it, you'd be able to teleport out of a dungeon and teleport back to where you left off. That can actually be really useful as far as, like, if you need to, take, like, stop playing for the night and you want to, like, save your progress mid-dungeon. Because if you save and quit in the middle of a dungeon, um, you'll be respawned back at the beginning of the dungeon. And there's not really a lot of, like, fast warps throughout a lot of these dungeons. Not like the pots in Wind Waker. This is basically kind of the, like, Ferrore's Wind item from... Ocarina of Time. Anyways, that doorway looks locked there, and also there's a big old spider there, so let's head on through here. Let's see, we got some wind. Let's cross over this bridge here, and be able to head over back this way. Again, this, there's, <sighs> this area is just really, like, big and kind of crazily involved, but anyways, right here we just get our small key. We'll want to keep this, this area in mind for later, because, yeah, this is <laughs> kind of a nice big old area that we can't really do a whole lot in for right now, so let's keep that in mind for later. I guess, like, I probably shouldn't need to say this in a video here, but, like, um, if I sound a little raspier than usual, I'm actually kind of just getting over a cold that I've been battling for the better part of the week here. I think I got sick sometime around... <clears throat> sometime around, like, New Year's Eve, I think. That spider just kind of liked to fall in the water there. Uh, ooh, this. Uh, keep this area in mind for later as well. We can't do anything here right now, but there's a nice fancy-looking chest in there, though. Definitely very nice to kind of keep in mind, but... Yeah, I was kind of feeling like... Uh, it's just a cold, I think, but... I don't know, my sinuses and... My throat's been really dry, and we've just had a lot of really dry weather. Anyways, here's another monkey.
Oh, fun. You love when your bridge breaks open like that. Anyways, I think... We just kind of gotta knock this down like we did before. It's kind of our little tip to think is to just roll in there. Oh, no. We got the bad guy's attention. Ah, it just looks like it's some... Pokeblins, though. Nothing too dramatic there. We don't even really need to use our new, like, finishing blow technique too often on these guys. But, after doing that, we do have another monkey. And another yellow rupee. Dungeons in this game like to shower you with money, and believe me, there's more to say about that, but... Something I'll probably point out, I think later in this dungeon even, but... Um, there was some changes that the HD version made for better or worse being a Wii U game. If this game ever did get, like, a Switch re-release, which, knowing my luck, me saying that, this is probably gonna get some sort of Switch port later this year or something, but... <clears throat> I have no idea. Um... At the time I'm recording this, this still doesn't have... I'm recording this in still in early 2023, so... If anything does happen in the meantime, well... Yeah. I don't think there's anything else in the water here. Not that we would have any way of getting anything in the water, but... Sometimes they like to hide stuff in the waters. And thankfully the monkeys will often just run by the... Any enemies that may be seen as a threat there. Anyways... Now swim across here... And we'll be able to swing across here, too. And from here... Ah, yes, this room. <clears throat> There's actually quite a few things to say about this room here. We have some new Dekobabas here that can actually be a little threatening here. There's a treasure chest in there. I'm actually... I'll show how to open that off, but I'm not going to open that up immediately for reasons that you'll see why. This is a lot more important if you're playing in hero mode than the normal game, but yeah, that's... Yeah, something to kind of keep in mind here. Oh shoot, that was not... Oh crap. Um, Maybe I might actually take that then. Ah, I still have two hearts left. Okay, never mind. Um, huh. Can I stop rolling into this little tiny roof here, please? You kind of have a bit of a puzzle with these bomb enemies here. First things first, if we drop the bomb there, that'll blow this guy up. And... That defeats him. Yeah, there's just kind of a number of areas you can go here. I don't usually remember this puzzle, like... It's not like this puzzle's difficult or anything, but it is always something that does kind of... trip me up a little bit, and we got some heart beeping. There we go. Oh, shoot. I hope I did not. I Okay, thank God. I was like, please tell me I wasn't standing right next to that blast there. Anyways, if we blow that open there, I don't know if I can actually do anything in this room or not right now. There is a monkey in here. Maybe I might. I think I might be able to. There's, there's a lot of rooms in this dungeon that... Actually, shoot, am I... This could be a little awkward here, but... Anyway, there is a big chest here. I'm guessing this is another small key here. Just probably for that monkey. I don't see the typical Zelda fanfare. So, yep, small key. This area is a little tricky, because we got a nice bridge of... Filled with enemies here. I wasn't standing where that guy was there. You know what? I'm just gonna ignore that for right now. 
And yeah, if we light the remaining lanterns here and also not get hit by this guy. may notice that there is another chest down that way as well. We shall be back for that later on. And not get killed by a spider here. You can finish and blow these guys though, which is very nice and satisfying to do whenever you can land that kill on them there. Um... <clears throat> Just trying to keep an eye on my time here. And hope I don't jump straight into a tile here because that would be really bad. But I think. Oh, we can get one more thing in the dungeon, I think, and then afterwards we'll probably call that a. call that a video, I think. Um. Now let's go over this way because. Definitely a thing over here that I'd like to get here. And hopefully not die, because this would kind of suck, but this thing is actually kind of awkward from what I remember here. Yep, there's just another monkey in a cage, which you can probably tell that that's just the general gimmick of this dungeon here. And the key just gets eaten by this thing. This is a really weird mini-boss, like, it's not even really a mini-boss, but this thing only really shows up, like, here and, like, one other location later in the game. I do see that there are some, like, bomb enemies off to the side here. I don't know if I can... I was trying to attack that game. I don't know why my sword just wasn't out at the time, but okay. Thanks, hero mode. Love this game too sometimes. <laughs> but yeah, there is a bomb guy here. I honestly never remember really how to fight these guys just because there's, I think there's only two of these in the entire game here. I think I do have to, like, actually attack it for a little while, though, anyways. Okay, yeah, whenever that's... Yeah, whenever that part of it's done there, then it just turns into this here. That makes a little more sense, then. And now... Now we can throw the bomb in there. Jeez, that was... A really dumb thing to lose at, not gonna lie. But for defeating him, we will, in fact, get our next small key. Let us free another monkey. And I don't think there's anything else really for us in these pots here. Again, if you're playing the normal mode and not hero mode, there's probably... Like, for one thing, hearts are, like... Hearts are a thing that spawn in the normal game that help you, like, stay alive and whatnot. They just don't really spawn in on hero mode at all. So, yeah, the, in a lot of ways, I am making this a lot harder for myself, but... Yeah. Anyways, with all that being said, I think that's gonna do it for this episode of Twilight Princess. Next time... <clears throat> We're going to continue on through the Forest Temple and hopefully make some more progress throughout it. I don't know if we'll actually finish it or not, but we'll definitely make a lot more progress. Thank you everyone for watching, and I'll see you guys for that then. Peace out.